Hi everybody, this is Jeff Lance from Picasso Piano Academy. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to work on the D major scale. Before we get going, feel free to download the PDF. Go to the description and there's a link, okay? So one of the things we're going to learn today is how to play it with both hands, four octaves up and back. I've got the fingerings right here so you can check that out. Then I'm going to show you how to play one of the hand and exercises in the three keys we've been working on up to this point. Key of D, which is key of two sharps, key of G, the key of one sharp, and the key of C, all white notes. Okay, so there's that. We're going to be working on a pattern, and, and each pattern is four measures, and uh, it's going to be a pattern in all three keys. And then we're going to work on uh, a couple of different patterns, and one pattern is from D to D from this note to this note, and I'm going to be changing the chords, I'm going to be changing the keys in the middle of those patterns, and we're going to see what it's like to conform the notes uh, in sequence to the different key signatures. And then we're going to do the same thing in two measures. And then finally, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can work on your ear training. Okay, so let's get going. D major scale, four octaves up and back, both hands. Now we're going to play finger staccato. Now we're going to do the same thing with the crab technique. Now we're going to swing it. Now we're going to do reverse swing.
In exercise B, we play hand in number two in the three keys we've been working in so far, D, G, and C major. We're going to start out with hand in number two in D major. Canon number two in G major. Canon number two in C major. Moving on to exercise C. This exercise features three eight major segments, each utilizing one of the scales we've worked on so far. The first segment is in D major, the second is G major, and the last segment is C major. All three segments are exactly alike otherwise, starting and ending on a D note. Two sharps, D major. One sharp, G major. No sharps, no flats, C major. Exercise D. In this exercise, we play the scale of two sharps, one octave up and back. Then, starting on the same beginning note of D, we play the scale of one sharp up and back, and finally we play the scale of all white keys, one octave up and back, starting with D major.
Exercise E. In this exercise, we start out playing the scale of two sharps for the first two measures. On the next two measures, we play the scale of one sharp. The next two measures are the scale of all white keys. And the final two measures are back to the scale of two sharps. The purpose of this exercise is to get accustomed to changing scales in the middle of a melodic passage, no matter where you are in that passage. And now I just want to give you a couple of exercises to increase your ability to hear well and play what you're hearing. Um, the first exercise is this. The scale degrees are 1, 3, 5, 3, 4, 6, 5, right? So what I want you to try and do is uh, sing the scale degree numbers as you're playing the notes. One, three, five, three, four, six, five. Now, I know you're not signing up to be a singer. Uh, this isn't Picasso Singing Academy. So you don't have to sing well. You don't have to be Pavarotti or Beverly Sills. But I do want you to, uh, to attempt to sing these notes. And, um, and there's four other exercises. I'm not going to go into them. You can download and take a look at them. But, but the reason being is, is that the more you attach a scale degree to a note that you're hearing and to a note you're therefore playing, the, the better your ear is going to be. You might have noticed that sometimes when you hear a guitar player in a performance humming or singing the notes he's playing, well, what that means is that that guitar player has developed his ear to a point to where he knows what it's going to sound like before he plays it. So when he's playing it, he's just singing how he knows it's going to sound. Well, this is ear training, and that's what this final ear, ear uh, that's what this final exercise is, is trying to help you to do. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. Uh, and now, uh, a month from now, we'll be uh, going into the key of three sharps, which is the key of A. So, uh, good luck with this. Practice the different uh, technique exercises, finger staccato, crab, rhythm exercises, and uh, we'll see you next month uh, when it comes to the key of A. Okay.